right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome back. Again, thank you guys so much for coming over. I truly appreciate y'all. Uh, we got Brother Bill Burr. What separates me from psychos? You know, like I said, I love his, his honesty, how real he is, uh, how he don't hold back. You know, he, he's one of those comedians that don't really care about what people think about him. He's going to say what he needs to, to say. And hey, the brother is hilarious, man. So we ain't going to waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. Been in a uh, bad mood. Uh-oh. All day, man. Here we go. Got in a fight with this girl the other day. You ever meet somebody like within like the first couple of minutes of them meeting you, they feel like they can like sum you up? Just like, you know what your problem is? <laughs> you know, you just have like the urge just to take their head and just mush it into whatever they're eating, you know? Damn. You ever have crazy thoughts like that? Can you relate hey, on any level you never have? Something, something small that I notice here, but shout out to this brother, man. You see the pants? Remember when the pants used to go over the shoe? <laughs> now to get your pants off, you people got to lay down with their legs up because they so tight in the damn ankle. <laughs> shout out to the, shout out to all the boot cut wearers out there. <laughs> Something small, but I love it. You know, you just have like the urge just to take their head and just mush it into whatever they're eating. You know, you ever have crazy thoughts like that? Can you relate on any level? You never have like urges you ever drive down the street and see like 30 people up on the sidewalk and you just think oh no bill right? you don't do it you just think it <laughs> that's what separates the psychos from the functioning psychos damn yeah psychos they just do it all right that's a good idea they get the wipers going they make a day out of the it right? wipers so, oh, but no. a rational person you you like think it through you start going, you man, if I just leave my hand right here, nobody knows who I am. I move it two degrees over here. I'm on the cover of Newsweek. Man. I'm instantly famous. Right here, no one knows me. Like, hey, Bill, you want to go to the cookout? Maybe you can bring that potato salad you brought last <laughs> year. It was such a big hit. One of the most horrific scenes we've seen in years. Bodies just strewn about. You know, Amy's going to be there. She's still asking for you. You should ask her out. No indication he even <laughs> tried to stop. Seriously, you're getting older. Put your hands on the dashboard. Put them on the dashboard. You have those on. Damn. No, I have that stuff all the time. Hey. I do. My girl took me to this, a... This is like his no reason to hit a woman video. So he just, he, he's not saying to act on himself. He's just talking about the thoughts. <laughs> His brother. Oh, he said the potato salad. Y'all don't be putting no raisins in y'all potato salad, do y'all? Y'all better stop it. Y'all try to send me some of that, boy. <laughs> be picking them damn things out. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I have that stuff all the time. I do. My girl took me to a street fair recently, right? Uh oh. You guys have street fairs out here? You know, they close off the block, there's like shawarma, there's like stuff made out of buttons, right? <laughs> People with no teeth are making keychains, right? <laughs> it's a typical girlfriend idea. It sucks and it's gonna take all Saturday, right? <laughs> She's all excited. She's like swinging my arm. Oh my God, this is gonna be great. I'm like praying for lightning. Maybe some like scaffolding to fall down on me, you know? Oh. No, we show up, right? The first thing she sees is this big table, nothing but homemade jewelry, right? Homemade jewelry. It's got twigs, macaroni in it. It's just, it's a table of crap. It's crap. The whole thing is crap. But she loves it. She's like, oh my God, look at these earrings. Do you like these? <laughs> Do you think these are nice? I just want to be like, no. They were nice, they'd, they'd be in a store, all right? <laughs> There'd be a roof, some sort of structure would be built around this. This is crap, this is just a table of crap. The guy's even wearing shoes. That's a good indication that this is crap. What? But I didn't want to ruin a day, so I'm like, yeah, go ahead, check it out. I'm gonna go get some air. Even though we're outside, I think there's more air <laughs> to be had, right? 
Uh, so I walk like three, four tables away, and I come up to this lady. She got this big table of nothing but muffins. Muffins, right? It's like 85 degrees out. She's selling muffins, and she's got this big stupid, hey, look at the muffins I made, look on her face. And the second I saw that, that part of my brain was just like, dude, what would happen if you just walked up and just said, hey, lady, uh, these are your muffins? Oh, yeah? And I just started going, blam, 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 blam. Damn, Bill. Like, how many of these muffins could I mush before anybody did anything? What? <laughs> I mean, realistically, I think I could have got the whole table. Because even if you saw me doing that, it would take at least five to six seconds to process. Like, did they say he could do that? Is, is it like a game? Do you eat the muffin up? <laughs> Brother, you got to be some type of crazy to want to punch some muffins. I, I, don't y'all do it. I know some of y'all minds went to the gutter. Hey, the brother said, he, how many could he punch before somebody say something? Like, you got to be some type of mad to what, that's crazy, man. I get what he's saying, though. It would take at least five to six seconds to process. Like, did they say he could do that? Is, is it like a game? Do you eat the muffin off your fist? That just seems like a waste of pastry. <laughs> you know, there's no security at a street fair. There's no bouncer staying there. He's mushing the muffins. Okay, I'm on it. Sir, we're gonna have to ask you to leave. And they just choked me out. What the hell? So I just started thinking of the horrified look on this lady's face as I started slamming these muffins. <laughs> and out of nowhere, I just started laughing like a maniac. <laughs> I'm like slumped over this fried dough cart. I'm dying. My girl looks at me. She's like, what the hell are you laughing at? And like an idiot, I actually tried to explain <laughs> this screwed up thought to her. Oh, man. I swear to God, I'm just sitting there like, I was just thinking, what if I started punching the muffins? You know what I mean? I just started punching them. That's She's just good. looking at me like, why do I go out with you? <laughs> Dude, but I swear to God, if I never broke eye contact the second I started hitting those muffins, yeah. that lady, she wouldn't even been able to call for help. I would have been in her head. Yeah. She'd be like, did I go to high school with this guy? Why would you do that? <laughs> muffins are a happy food. I, I don't understand this. Yeah. No, I got to learn to do what? I got to learn to let stuff go. I do. I got issues. I do. My neighbor got her, uh, got her dog fixed. Got this dog neutered, brand new dog, puppy. Got the thing neutered, and I'm like, what the hell, what the hell did you do that for? She's like, well, you know, if I didn't do that, he was gonna hook up with another dog, then they're gonna make more dogs, and what are we gonna do with all these dogs? <laughs> like, why don't you just let them go? <laughs> they're animals, they'll be fine. I think that's what every city needs, just a nice pack of wild dogs just running down the street. It'd help with the obesity problem. Just chase people to the cars after they eat some big meal, you know? Oh. Just a nice pack of Rottweiler just running down the street. Damn! Listen, I'm out of time. You guys were awesome. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Thank you. Yo, like I said, you know, I'll just say this. Working in retail, <laughs> You do have some thoughts. When people give you attitudes, when people give you attitudes, you do have those type of like, not crazy, but just like, you know, you wish you could say stuff that you can't. You know what I mean? You just wish you could say stuff. I mean, you can, you can say whatever the hell you want. You just got to be willing to deal with the consequences. But boy, boy, boy. Hey, this was pretty crazy though, man. Like... <laughs> He basically said, he, he, he be saying, Bill Burr be saying a lot of stuff that people be thinking, all right? Because he don't give a damn. He just, hey, this is me. Take it or leave it. That's Bill Burr. But that was pretty good, man. Hey, thank y'all so much for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. Peace out.